Hello everyone, it's Dan here, and uh, after a long time of waiting, I am bringing you the next Unity tutorial. Uh, it's not what I was uh, planning on covering. Uh, I had received the request to cover double jumping, so I'm going to just do this real quick since uh, it's not overly complicated. Uh, so here I am in a separate standalone scene, and the only thing I really have is a directional light plane and the player, which is just a capsule, and I attach the camera to it. So first things first is you want to select your player, and we're going to add a rigid body and a character controller. Now we're going to need to create a new script. So create JavaScript. Uh, you could call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it double jump, but you probably want would want to put this with the player movement script since it uses a lot of the same code. So double jump. And go ahead and open it. Now in here, we're going to need uh, six variables, so var jumps, which is going to be an integer, we're going to set that equal to 1. Below that we're going to need uh, var player, which is a transform. Now, this isn't overly necessary, but if you plan on building off of a script, and you need the transform for it, uh, you're always going to want to get into a habit of creating something like that. So uh, this isn't overly useful for right now, but in the future when you're doing your own scripting and stuff, uh, getting into a habit of creating this automatically would be a good idea. Uh, next we're going to need var move horizontal. I'm just going to st stick with that right now, and that is going to be vector 3 dot vector 3 and we're going to set that equal to vector 3 dot 0 and below that we're going to need move vertical yeah and I'm just doing that it's basically just the same thing uh, so if you've seen the other tutorials uh, most of this is going to be relatively familiar, we're just going to be adding a few lines of code, but the thing is, is that in order for this script to 100% work, you're going to need uh, to have most of this code, so uh, I would recommend watching the other video first, I'm going to maybe put an annotation up on the screen right now, so you guys can, you know, go back and watch it, because I'm probably just going to copy the code from the script, so that way I don't have to type it all over again. Uh, Below that, you're going to need another var, uh, gravity, again, same thing we covered earlier, so that into an int, and it is going to be equal to 15. And then below that, we just need the regular uh, speed variable, which is an integer, and set that equal to 15. I guess. Doesn't really matter. Again, this part right here isn't overly necessary, but getting into a habit of creating this all the time is probably your best bet. So we're just going to set player equal to transform. Now here's the f uh, interesting part. So function update. Again, this is where the uh, majority of the scripting comes from. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code from the original player movement script that we're going to need, and I'm going to put it into the update, okay? So uh, we're just going to need that. And the only difference between them is this line right here. So it doesn't really matter where you put this, but you need to have this line right here. So anywhere inside of if controller dot is grounded, 
uh, you need to have jumps equal to one. What this is going to do is every time the player hits the ground, it's going to reset jumps back to one or whatever you set this as, but uh, you should set it to one. The reason why we're not doing zero, um, I'm going to explain that in a second. Uh, you could set it to equal to zero and just modify the code a little bit, but this is sim uh, a little bit more simple. So everything else is pretty much the same thing, except now I need to change some of this stuff. Uh, there we go. You could type it in the way it was supposed to be back in the main script, but uh, I felt for time's sake it'd be easier to just abbreviate everything. There we go. So uh, that's all we really need so far. Uh, if we head back into Unity, we can check and see if we have any errors, which we do not. So turning back to this, uh, so far we should be able to move our character around. In fact, let's test that out. Attach it to our player and hit play. Oh yeah, forgot. Uh, this needs to be just a little bit higher and we need to adjust this so that way uh, he cannot uh, rotate around, which is a very important thing because he can fall over, and that's not what we really want to have happen. So, here we go. Kind of move him around. Can't jump yet, but we're going to cover that in a second. So, we can kind of get him to move around, sort of like how we had it set up previously, except he moves a little bit faster and can't really do a whole lot of anything else. Turning to the script, what we need now is. Uh, okay. Below this, we're going to need if jumps is less than or equal to 2, then inside of here, we're going to do another if statement. Uh, if input dot get button up. And then we're going to go for jump then we want to have move vert or oh, vertical dot y is equal to 8 multiplied by parentheses jump jumps plus 1 Below that, we're going to do jumps plus plus. So what this is doing is if, okay, it's not letting me scroll, there we go. If jumps is less than or equal to two, then this if statement can get called. So if we hit the jump button, which in this case would be spacebar unless you changed it, uh, then move vertical, which is a vector three, uh, dot y, which is one of the um, components to a vector 3, is equal to 0 multiplied by the com combination of jumps plus 1. So this should help increase as we do the double jump so that way it isn't kind of a neutral jump where it doesn't go up a whole lot higher. The double jump is meant to kind of, you know, supposed to go up a little bit more. Uh, so jumps plus 1. So if it's the first jump, it would be jumps, so it would be 1 plus 1, which is 2, multiplied by 8 would be 16, and then if it was jump number 2, it would be 2 plus 1, multiplied by 8, and, you know, so forth. And every time we do this, jumps increases by 1, so after it gets over this, we can no longer jump, and we have to land on the ground. So if we return back to Unity, and we already have the script attached to the player, we hit spacebar, we jump, we hit spacebar while we're in the air, we jump again, as you can see. I'm experiencing a little bit of lag and I fell off the uh, platform. One thing to note is that in the near future I will be building a new system so uh, I can record in higher quality on different things. So. 
Jump. Double jump. And as you can see over here, I, just watch uh, the one over here. As you can see, it increased and it's staying at three because we missed the platform and we're never going to hit the ground. But if I return to the game and jump, as you can see, every time I hit the ground, one. There you go. So it's a relatively simple tutorial. If you were wanting to increase the amount of jumps you wanted to do, all you would need to do is just increase this number. So if I wanted to do maybe three, hit play. There you go. But for the most part, double jumping is good enough. So uh, if you didn't get most of this uh, stuff right in here, uh, I would recommend either pausing the video right here or going back and watching the first episode where I cover most of this stuff. Anyways, I would like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, any suggestions or just comments in general, please leave them below. I love reading them. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Take care.